Good morning and welcome to the final day of Vlogtober. It is the 31st of August today, which means Vlogtober is coming to an end. Um, but I've kind of decided that I'm going to vlog a little bit throughout January, not January, oh my god, it's not 2017 yet. I'm going to vlog a little bit throughout November as well. I've got some travels coming up and um, it's my birthday month. So yeah, let me know if you'd like to see a few more vlogs in November because I feel like I'm in the swing of it now. I'm here with the lovely cat. Dun, dun, dun. I was like <laughs> looking for you over there somewhere. And we're creating some really lovely videos and photos together. Cat is a video maker and photographer extraordinaire. And oh, we you. have found the most amazing location, haven't we? Yeah. It it's is. so it's beautiful. Like, look All at this the mansion. Look behind us. Oh, <laughs> we're just pretending we live here, and yeah, it's just so amazing. So, um, I'll show you behind the scenes of a vlogger photo shoot. We've both got like suitcases with us, yeah. full of clothes, makeup, um, different handbags, different shoes. So this is what goes on behind the scenes when there's a blog photo shoot. I've got like tons of different outfits. I've got hairspray, jewellery, makeup. Yeah, so I'm um, chundling that all around town with us today. But the shots are looking really, really beautiful because the weather is absolutely gorgeous. So yes, uh, that's the plan this morning and I'm gonna take you with me to an afternoon tea later on today as well. So it should be a nice, fun day for vlogging. <laughs> on behind the scenes with outfit changes. I'm gonna remove my clothes. <laughs> nice outfit. <laughs> Okay, it's a couple of hours later and Kat and I have had an incredibly productive morning. We have got so many shots. I think we've done, how many would you say, like six outfit changes? So, six, yeah, yeah, so many. Um, and look how beautiful this place is. I'm just about to do an Instagram for this autumn wonderland. It's so, so, so beautiful. We've got so many nice shots. I just wanna come here for every photo shoot. Um, so we're gonna hop in an Uber now and go somewhere a little bit more central. I wanna get a few indoor shots. So trying to think of somewhere that we won't get kicked out by taking a load of photos because people are strict. <laughs> special about Bulgari jewellery which you can see behind me um, and I may or may not have left with oops, a sneaky treat so I will show you this as soon as I get home very very exciting now I'm gonna meet my friend Vicky we're gonna go and grab a coffee and have a girly ketchup morning guys sorry I didn't finish my vlog properly yesterday I just got home from the afternoon tea actually no I didn't go straight home I went out with my friend Vicky um, we just grabbed a coffee and a little bit of shopping together in H&M home um, and Zara so yeah I didn't vlog because I just had so many things in my hands I had my suitcase from the uh, photo shoots and then yeah just loads and loads of bits and bobs so the afternoon tea at Bulgari was absolutely beautiful I learned so much about the brand obviously the brand is all about jewellery so we got to see the Serpenty collection up close which is just stunning like the most beautiful jewellery I think I've ever felt in my hands it was just absolutely gorgeous and the afternoon tea was just to introduce us to the new spring summer 17 collection and I cannot believe I'm saying this but look what I left with <gasps> I actually think this is the most beautiful bag I have seen 
in my entire life. It's um, it's snake print all over, and then you've got the beautiful serpenty clasp in the middle. It's the perfect size for just wearing with your outfit, like I am doing today. It's a crossover bag, and yeah, I just I just have no words. It's so stunning. So let me show you what I'm wearing today before I head out. Okay, sorry the lighting is not the best for an outfit of the day, but I've got my coast cape on again. Got a poppy yesterday, it's poppy day soon, so make sure you've got your poppies. Show support of those who fought for us in the war and lost their lives. Um, and then, of course, I've got my beautiful Bulgari bag, Serpenti. Um, I will leave all the information about this down below, as with the rest of my outfit links. And then this dress, I feel like it's really appropriate for what I'm doing today. It's a, the sleeves are like kind of three quarter sleeves um, and it's just a very smart dress from phase eight absolutely love it and then I'm wearing my mango boots which you've seen me wearing about a million times so quite a smart outfit of the day so the plan of action today we're basically heading to Claridge's first thing this morning which is just the most beautiful place um, it always reminds me of when I worked at Mulberry because that's where we used to host our fashion shows so it's going to be really lovely going back there and this morning there is an etiquette masterclass with Birchbox to celebrate their November box and with Tatler magazine so I'm really really excited to learn about some etiquette rules and hopefully I will learn some new things which I can share with you guys so it's gonna be a really fun day and then I'm getting my hair colored because as you can see I need it um, and then I'm going out for a dinner with Jacques Vert so a really fun day and let's get going <laughs> too much in there um, because it was just a very intimate event so it would have been a little bit strange but we had a lady called Jo Bryant who uh, is an etiquette specialist and she was just absolutely fascinating learned so much about just you know lost British etiquette how to be well mannered how to be the perfect dinner guest and what to do in lots of social situations so I'm 100% definitely going to be doing a blog post on this or maybe even a video so keep a lookout for that and it was all to celebrate the November birch box which is in collaboration with Tatler and it's about quarter to three now and I'm getting my hair colored at Sassoon now so I will see you guys in the hairdresser <laughs> Okay, excuse me. 
is how my face looks. I always feel like I look like a bit of a zombie after coming out of the hairdresser. Um, but I'm so pleased with my hair. It's a beautiful ashy blonde colour now. Um, and the two guys that did my colour and cut did such fabulous jobs. I'm going to leave their Instagram down below. But they're both from Sassoon on South Moulton Street. So I highly recommend them if you get a chance. Um, so the colourist put in some really fine highlights. So it just looks really, really natural. You can barely tell that I've had my hair coloured. And hopefully the regrowth won't be too bad. Um, and the cut looks great as well. It's just so swishy. So very, very pleased with my hair. Um, now I'm heading to the Andaz Hotel on Liverpool Street for dinner with Jacques Vert. Okay, so I'm looking a little bit more glamorous than the last time you saw me. So I'm now dressed head to toe in Jacques Vert. And let me just show you, ooh, out of focus, let me just show you this beautiful room that we're in for our dinner. It is seriously spectacular.